cops and robbers. Cowboys and Indians. Depending on how you do it, playing doctor. From the earliest of ages, we pretend. As we get older, the games change. Sometimes we even stop calling them games. Sometimes it becomes acting or improv. Other times, depending on how you are uh, put together, it might be historical reenactments. Or it doesn't have to be anything that grand. You're sat having lunch with a friend, and he says to you, and that's when she told me this. What would you have done if you were me? Your friend is asking you to take on their persona rather than your own and answer the question. Now, let's say for a moment that instead of saying, what would you have done, the question is phrased, what do you do? And in that moment of what do you do, you are being asked to respond, not as yourself, but as this assumed character that you are playing, this role that you are playing. You know basically everything you need to know about Dungeons and Dragons. You are playing a role-playing game. You have a character. This character is not you. It is a person in a different world. Now, most often this will be a fantasy setting. Lord of the Rings. Very popular movie example in today's world. Anything like that. Elves, dwarves, orcs, magic. But it doesn't have to be. It could be sci-fi. It could be the Old West. It could be anything. Anything. But the common theme is that you are not being you. You are being the character. If you understand this concept, which, like I said, you've been doing it all your life. Then you know everything you need to know. Everything else that exists about Dungeons and Dragons exists to give us a shared frame of reference for how we pretend. Now, for anyone who's been a regular watcher of the channel, you'll know this is not normally how I begin my videos. Today, I'm beginning a new endeavor, a new series of videos that will basically be my attempt at Dungeons and Dragons 101. Um, I have had a special request from my lovely wife to explain to her what it is that I devote so much of my time to. To help her to see the way I see. I don't know how many videos this will take to cover, uh, but I will attempt to progress forward from these basic concepts of D&D and to eventually provide a more full introduction to people who have not played this game before, who have not experienced this hobby before. Now, I'm not joking whenever I say that what I've just explained is everything you need to know to play. Because one of the beautiful things about Dungeons and Dragons is that anything that you need to know, you can be told as you go. Once you understand 
that you are playing a character, that your place in the game is to play out that character, that you are an actor in the overall story, which all of you are forming together, the rest of it is less important. Knowing what die to roll at what time, your dungeon master can tell you that. It's not important. What is important about the game is being able to put yourself out of yourself. To be able to think as someone else. To look at something and to build a character and to say, well, I probably wouldn't do this, but the character would. That is the core of what Dungeons and Dragons is. And for today, I'm going to leave it there. I'll be back tomorrow, and I will start to cover some of the rules. I will probably start with the basic ability scores tomorrow. And, like I said, we'll see how, how, um, how many videos this series takes. But uh, for now, like, subscribe if you want to keep track of these videos. Uh, I will tag them in a separate playlist from the videos I have been doing so that you can tell them apart. Um, have a great day.